what's up lupe back with another video so if you don't know right here this is my 2003 three quarter ton suburban with the quadra steer Ooh, with the quadra steer so dual battery install this is how i did it so these cars do come with a spot for the factory uh for a second battery install or location and this is how i wired mine in so this is what we got this is, a, this is an easy way to do it battery tray off amazon you can search it i'm gonna put it right here but battery tray you go in take this bracket out then you take the bottom brace out and install this one you see right here we got the hole down battery that was this was the original battery that went over here and in place of this we do we have a top and side post optima so here we go the reason this is how i did it and this is what i did this is with a factory isolator this is a factory gm part some of these suburbans and a lot of these diesels either had the 81 or the diesel they have two batteries so you are going to have the out that's fucking hot you're going to have there they were equipped with this isolator a lot of people install these with isolators but i'll show you how that works we got it wired to a fuse which goes all the way over to the other battery over there i grounded this to frame there that you can see oh that's oh that's really you can see i even got these milwaukee drill and tap bits at the same time so those are all good so this is how this works factory isolator tied in to the fuse box to the ignition fuse here in the key in accessory mode this relay is off so these contacts are open which means an accessory since these are open only this battery is going to be live what i plan to do with this battery is to run power to the back for an inverter an amp and to run my stereo off of that battery so we can show you back here this is the kit I used. It was really super simple. But what I plan to do is this is a storage compartment, but I want to put a bus bar power distribution here for the amp, for possibly onboard air, and to run my stereo. So, because I want to put a little, uh, either remove this one or put a scar uh, bazooka back here, just for a little boom boom, because I do have an aftermarket radio. So with the way it works, if you have your key in the first position, which is right here, key in, first position, radio on, there is no power to the relay, so you are only using that battery, whichever battery you have how, you know, wired up, but you're only using the auxiliary battery. That way you can have it wired to your lights, you can have it wired to how I said I want to do my music, or an inverter. The reason why I want to put the inverter in there is because this rear audio here uh, doesn't work. I guess the people that did the install there, they just got rid of some wires and did some stuff there. So I want to put two or three, uh, you know, house outlets, 120 volt outlets in here through the inverter. That way with the car off, you can start stuff, or charge stuff do whatever you need plug stuff in run lights if you need to whatever you want to do and only use that battery and isolate this one that way if you say you do completely kill that battery run the whole thing for a few hours and do nothing when you start it when you go to the key on position it is going to start with this uh battery if that makes sense so in first position this relay is off which means you are able to power whatever off the auxiliary when you go to a run or key on position, this relay is powered and they are both connected. So that's how I ran these. This ground is going to the switch. And this other wire here, that's over here, is the power in accessory and key on. That's how I ran that one. We got a, also got a brand new alternator. I did a, a new alternator at the same time. Just because I didn't want the new one to take a poop if it, if, it, if it had to charge, you know, two extra batteries. But overall, super simple. Got it from going from this here to the isolator down at the bottom. You following me? 
to the isolator here. From here, it goes to the fuse, and this is a 125 amp fuse from SCAR, and that goes over to that battery. So right now, key in the first position, only that battery is being used, key on, they are both ready to start the car. So yeah, you can either, you have a, this is nice because you essentially have the ability to jump start it if you need to, you have a battery in here. There is sometimes where people put a manual override where say for example, this battery does go bad and you go to start it, you can just have them, um, you can hit the switch, power it on so that that way both batteries are live no matter what as like a safety default. But I think with the way I have it wired up, when you go to start it, they're both active, they're, they're both live. There's a few other things I gotta do. This was a Northern car. So I got some rust and some random stuff that I got. That's not my work. It's not mine. There's some rust and some random stuff I got to do, but overall it's very solid. I do plan on keeping this Suburban for a long time. So this is episode one of making the Suburban the most reliable car I've ever had. And I freaking love it. I got to put a windshield in it. Don't look at that. But I freaking love it, dude. That quadra steer, son. So 180,000 miles on this one. It's 03. Got it for a steal. Got it for super, super cheap. You can look up these three quarter tons, see how much they go for. They're going for like eight to 12 easy. I got this for like easy, easy quarter of that. On the next, what we're gonna do is this hitch is super rusty. It's uh, I don't really trust it. So I'm gonna tow some stuff here pretty soon. So I'm gonna swap this whole thing out and put a heavy duty uh big boy on there and we're gonna call it good and i'm thinking of locating this one up in here into the bumper but that's my dual battery install all in all with parts spent on to do the install for one you're gonna need a you're gonna need a battery the scar kit was like 45 dollars this relay i think it was like another 35 so I think really if you, if you already have a second battery, which I already had one, and you want the stuff to put it in, I mean, it's gonna cost like 80 to 100 bucks between the tray, the scar kit, and the relay, and then you can do everything yourself. You know, you can go to the top mount, you can get extra side posts here. You can get extra longer ones if you wanna put them all there like I did here. These stick out. These I also got on Amazon, so they stick out over there. But that's how I did it. This is my dual battery install on my three quarter ton Suburban. So I did have some questions about it. I did uh, I did try and do some research as far as like an all data because all data the factory connector for the isolator is right there. In this case, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a super easy install, but I didn't, I didn't have power there. I didn't know if it was gonna be another, because you know, some cars are shipped with all the stuff on there and whatever option it doesn't have, it's just gonna be a blank connector. In that case, there was no power there, so I didn't even want to go and try. There was no information all data for the wiring diagram for the auxiliary relay. I think they called it a multifunction relay. So I didn't know what fuse or what was going on in here that I didn't have or that wasn't working. I'm pretty sure it was going to be a programming or a firmware programming update. So I was like, screw that. So I just tapped into the tapped into the ignition fuse, made my own kit, and uh, called it good. So this is super, I think it looks super clean too. So you have this all nice and safety wired for the relay and the fuse. And then later on, I'm gonna put that additional power wire there, run it to the back, make that bus bar like I want, and then go from there. But that's it. Don't mind the rust on the hood. I'm gonna get an HD hood. I'm on the, I'm on the hunt for it. Wait, I freaking, look at that. Built in Arlington, son. I love this thing. So, if you do, want to do the second battery install, I think even on the regular half-ton Suburbans and Tahoes and trucks and all that kind of stuff, I think all that stuff does play out the same. And it's always good to have a second battery. So, super easy install. It's done. I'll show y'all how to start it. Oh, what is that? Uh. Oh, where my keys go? Shit box. We gotta go oil pressure. I, I put a melon, a melon high volume oil pump on it. Got a new water pump, all hoses. This is where my battery voltage sits. I got about 14 and a half volts on the meter. Uh, don't look at my washer fluid. Yeah, quit looking, dog. That's it. I'm gonna get on out of here. 
I'm super thirsty, but that was a quick, easy uh, install if you're looking to do it. I mean, it takes you about maybe 45 minutes to an hour to do it. I took my sweet ass time with it. But that's it, dual battery install done. Stay tuned for other videos, subscribe if you like, and I'll see you guys later.